Speaking of which, our next step media, Shara Ali. Programme for 30,000 homes, 
reducing energy waste and saving houses, on average, £150 per annum. The UK is the third lowest producer of renewable energy in the EU. Just look how much unharnessed wind, wave and solar we have at our disposal. Do the real security needs of the UK lie in a £100 billion trident mill? No. 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 <laughs> Green said new renewable energy industries could be set up in the same area and use the same skills and resources as the existing arms industries. Yeah. So, Building power to wave power or aerospace to wind power. Greens understand that the bottom line isn't the bottom line. We need to fix the broken economy, not round the edges, but wholesale. Currency, currency is a convention that currently exacerbates inequality in society. Labour and condemns printed money out of the politicised Bank of England only to ease the bankers and Brokers' liability for their own casino staff fleecing of our savings. Yeah. We, need, we need a carbon based currency that promotes stewardship of the earth in our every transaction, backed up by our responsibility to the other species we share this beautiful planet with and the future generations that aren't around yet to press their entitlements upon us. Presided over the fetishisation of Keynesian economics and pursuit of endless growth like there's no tomorrow. Yet there is a contradiction at the heart of this goal, even in the reflective minds of those most succumbing to it. The more you earn, the more you think you can't afford what you really need. <laughs> that can't be because you don't have more stuff. It is because you've generated increasingly insatiable desires to substitute for the ones that have already been satisfied. For inbuilt redundancy, read inbuilt neurotic trap. The American dream becomes a nightmare. What is to be our legacy as a human race? The despoilation of the invaluable, irreplaceable species we share the planet with, including our own, for the sake of austerity debt finance? There is nothing more painful than an uninhabitable planet. goes well beyond electoral politics and is required now more than ever. It is not practiced only by the named leaders. To the contrary, it is lived by us all. We reject the hierarchical structure of leaders and cheerleaders. Oh, I don't know. <laughs> it is said good leaders create good leaders. This is nearly right. The truth is, there is leadership in all of us. And we need to create the conditions to help bring that about. <laughs> Green politics is a full-time job. But not quite a job, it's a way of life. With apologies to the Working Time Directive, we don't know how to take time off. <laughs> or even a city. We're driven by the need to restore health to this planet. Ours is a collective calling. Therein lies our duty. And what kind of leader does it make us? You need only to be green. Empowerment and ownership, not control and power over. Alice, a new member, writes of her first party meeting. I felt, as I was listening, that this was a party where the power was surging up from the grassroots rather than from the top down. It's exciting to think of wave after wave of competent new people coming into the party and building it up with them. I doubt Alice would want the leader who boasts in 2003. Even if I'm the only person left saying it, I'm going to say it. I may be wrong in believing it, but I do believe it. Yes, Tony, you were the only person that said it. <laughs> there were no WMD, or even weapons of mass destruction program related activities at your favourite evidence based extension. Blood on your hands, 
No apology. War Crimes Tribunal over your head. Or do you want the leader who claims to want to rise above personal attacks, yet dispenses these on a daily basis upon migrants? Yes, Farage, you are quite right that you would not make a good Prime Minister. <laughs> to divert, and the UK gets plunged into subarctic temperature, we will all be the new migrants. Yeah. Do you want the MPs who won't get out of bed for less than 69k? <laughs> Cash for access. Cha-ching! What's all this about us having to pay more for decent MPs? The opposite is the case. I rather suppose that were you to offer the average national wage you would get substantially improved intent to Parliament. <laughs> not, not party policy, please don't retweet. <laughs> of our past, but let us shape the destiny of our tomorrow. <laughs>